everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I filmed a video. Life has been absolutely crazy. I'm moving, so I just wanted to take a chance to film this video. I wanted to show you all just an easy way to rock a bold lip in the summer, which I love to do. It's such an easy look. Obviously, you can just wear a bold lip and some mascara and nothing else. But for this video, I wanted to do bold lip, soft shadow, just some nice shimmer. If you want to see how to do this, we'll just go straight into the video. So this is actually the second time I'm going to be filming this tutorial because the first time I did it, it was just such a mess and I got lipstick all over my teeth and I just really didn't like the way the look turned out. So scrapping it, doing it all over again, and here we go. I know it's only been a week since I filmed the last time, but it kind of feels like it's been a while, so just bear with me. First thing we're gonna do is prime our eyes, so I'm just gonna kind of go through all of that. Same routine, just the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original, um, and then I'm gonna set it with some powder, whatever translucent powder you wanna use. This week has just been absolute craziness because we got the keys to our new apartment because I'm moving where my dental school is because um, right now I'm in the suburbs with my family. So I'm moving out, moving to my dental school. Um, we got the keys and it's just been absolute insanity every single day, moving in furniture, cleaning the place, setting up everything. And I haven't had any minute to just relax, let alone film anything. So it's just been a lot. Um, and then, this week, I'll be in Seattle all week actually seeing family. That'll be like fun and like that won't be stressful obviously, but I'm not just gonna be like home, you know? And then as soon as we get back, you know, it's back to setting up the apartment and back to more of all of that and like all of our furniture is getting delivered and then before I know it, I'm starting school. So it's just gonna be a lot all at once. But I really wanted to film something and get something up because I feel like it's been a long time. Anyway, today I just wanted to show like a really classic look that I like to do when I want to wear a bold lip and I'm going to do more than just like mascara. In the original video that I filmed, I showed three looks, but I ended up really not liking them. But I would say like the easiest look you can do when you want to rock a bold lip is just a really neutral face and just like some mascara. Like you really don't need to like go all out. Like there's really no point. So totally know that like that's an option. But this is when you want to do a little bit more. You want to kind of frame the eyes too and kind of compliment the lip. Um, just to put it out there, the lip I'm using today is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lip in, what is this shade? It's happening and it's honestly such an it's happening color like it's so poppy and in your face I love it I always get so many compliments on it when I wear it especially from um, my best friend Liam he always loves this color so it's such a pretty color you it's definitely dupable I'm sure you can find a very similar shade at the drugstore I actually got this in like a duo that's why it's a sample size I got it with like a blush and the blush is whatever but this is a really great liquid lip um, and whenever you're wearing a bold lip, I would suggest doing a liquid lip just because they last longer. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to keep like fussing with it. So I would look into that, but we're going to move into the eyes first. For this look, I think that it would work the best to use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette because of the tones, but it's going to be a really, really easy eye, which is like a pop of shimmer, like really super simple. Definitely something you can do. So first... I'm gonna pop into Golden Ochre right there and start kind of forming my crease. I'm gonna be using that same humongous Morphe brush that I used to set my um, eyeshadow primer, the M5110. Sorry, the M510 <laughs> brush. Um, just kind of put that through my crease, just really messily. This is really not gonna be a difficult look. It's just gonna be a really like cool look the people are gonna think that you spent a lot of time on. Bringing you all closer, I have just a tighter Morphe crease brush and I'm gonna be using a mixture of burnt orange and raw sienna just to kind of deepen up my crease. Moving is really just the worst. Like it's been a very exciting process cause like I've never lived in an apartment before cause you know, I've always been in the dorms in college and I'm excited to live with my sister, but I just really, really do not like having to bring everything over and move everything in and it's just been exhausting. The whole place is completely unfurnished so like I, we've had to just get everything and it's just so much money and it really adds up and it's just been an absolutely exhausting process. So I'm just gonna be really happy when it's over and I can just like live in this beautiful place and 
then I guess then I'll just be starting school, which is like another thing that I've been thinking about a lot, you know, like that's just like, give me such a big life change, I guess. Like college is one thing, but I feel like dental school is like another beast. And then to just kind of add in that kind of pop of pink, I'm gonna pop into a little bit of Venetian red right there, just a little bit in the outer corner. I'm gonna be using a Morphe M441 brush just with Venetian red. Picking up a little bit at the end, not much at all, very pigmented shade. So pretty. I will never get sick of this palette. That's why I like using it too, because I feel like a lot of people have it. So like if you do a tutorial with it, like everyone would be like, oh yeah, I have that palette. You know, it's not like one of like their limited palettes either. I'm just gonna blend again with that other crease shade. I really don't want this to be too deep. And that's it for the mattes. And then I'm gonna pop into the mirror, which is the top shimmer shade right there. And I'm just gonna lightly kind of pat that all over the lid with my ring finger. Really pretty, just like nice wash of shimmer. Not, I didn't want to do too pigmented, but if you want it to be more of like a pop, you can go in with like a glitter glue, um, you can use a loose glitter, or just wet the brush to do this. Or wet your finger. That's where we're at right now. I'm gonna clean up the fallout and I'll be right back. Okay, moving on to the face. I'm gonna do just like my basic routine. So setting the face with the wouder, and then a little bit of banana powder under the eyes and bronzer and blush and highlight. It's the same products I've been using, so I'm just gonna speed through it. But if you want me to talk through it, all my other videos till now, I think I've talked through it except my last video. Um, Cause that one was just like a short little thing I was doing. So check it out if you wanna see that too. But yeah, I'm just gonna speed through it and I'm gonna speed through my brows too and then um, I'll come back for my eyes. So using my usual flat shader brush, I'm gonna just take first um, Venetian Red a little bit on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna smoke that out with raw sienna. Okay, I'm just gonna put on some mascara and then we'll move on to the lips. Okay, just wiping off some of my chapstick. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put on my liquid lip. When I do this, I like to start bottom lip and work out, and then I like to hug the top lip. So I'm not really gonna talk through it, but you can obviously see what I'm doing. I like to overline my bottom lip just a little bit. A little trick. Um, is to anchor your hand on your chin so that if you don't like if you have like a shaky hand it gives you a little stabilization and there we go that's the finished look soft eye bold lip i hope you all enjoyed i'll see you in my next video bye